music talk event. This time I brought my friends from Prince Rupert, the Dixon Dead Sheep band, and these guys are rocking. They do a lot of tragically hip and a little bit of mixture of 90s and such. First of all, we're going to introduce the band, starting from my left. Go ahead. Hi, my name's Steve Bombin. I'm one of the guitar players. Kyle Lawler, I play the drums for Dixon Dead Sheep. Steve McGuire, uh, lead vocals and bass. Craig Bolden, rhythm guitar. There you go, that's the band. And so, Dixie Deadshake, the name is how did it get started and what's the deal with the mix of the tragically hit interest? Well, as far, as far as I'm concerned, like the tragically hit was a huge influence on me uh, when I was younger, like in the early 90s. Big influence as far as my well, my songwriting was was taken off, and um, I just just fell in love with the band from day one. And then uh, a few years back, almost four years now, Craig and I started playing music together, and we brought Steve on. Steve and I have been playing music together off and on for the better part of thirty years. Okay. And, oh yeah. So and we're kind of band before this. Uh, we had a, a few incarnations of the same band, and Cal was in a couple of them, and uh, three of three of us graduated together, so... Uh, all on a group, right? All on a group, yeah. Cool. And uh, so Craig, Steve, and I started playing, and we were playing at, at, at just as a three-piece, and uh, we kind of took a summer off to reevaluate stuff, and, and it, it sounds stupid, but one day I had a dream that uh, I was in a band on stage playing the tribes of the history. And, uh, I pushed the idea to these guys and, and thought, and right away it was like, this is a great idea. And because there's a lot of stuff to draw from, and it's like, in order to do this right, you know, we, we, need, we need two guitars to do it. And Cal's a way better drummer than I am. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> that's debatable. So, so Cal and Dean on and uh, sort of sealed the deal, and uh, yeah, that was uh, October 2014. And uh, then we played a show at the Lester Center, like a month later, like a little free song, part part of a fundraiser, like a free song set. So good times ever since. Hey, hey, you know, tragically, hits on uh, big and icon band. I mean, that's Lord Downey too. I mean, this is really big in the Northwest. There's no other band I don't think that does covers tunes or even attempts to do any kind of tragedy. It's the one song. Or yeah, like a lot of people was talking to a guy earlier tonight, and he said, uh, yeah. They do maybe three songs total, and they're like New Orleans, the same thing. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And there are some a lot of songs that we play that don't that people love that don't they don't get to hear in a bar very often. So any influences from music of you guys' own, like bands that you can think of, like that? You're, who's your favorite band? Other than Van Halen. Van Halen. Oh my God! The old Van Halen or new with the, with all Sammy Hager or all David? All of it. Oh, cool. Okay, yourself. Any musical um, influences? Any? I'm a pretty huge Rush fan. Uh, yeah, pretty big. Yeah, them and right on, right on. And I myself, it's basically uh, Pearl Jam, Tragically Hip, and like how much time you got? Radio, the yeah. Jewel, Radiohead, you know. Oh, but nice. Pearl Jam and Radiohead, or Pearl Jam and Tragically Hip, are some of my the backbone of my influence. Yourself? Uh, and the 90s, right? Yeah, right on. So Nirvana, all that. Oh, yeah. The old Seattle gigs, yeah. yeah. Hey, so what do you think of the Northwest music scene right now? How it sits? Are you hearing from it? And this is your first time outside of the. It's the first time I've been super playing, and uh, super happy to be here. And the one thing that, that I find. Um, with Northwest music is the, the, the camaraderie of it, especially even just in Prince Rupert alone. I mean, there's not a, I mean, fans don't get a lot of chance to play in Prince Rupert, but regardless, it's the, the bands helping bands, you know, bands supporting bands. I mean, we, we share a jam space with Rep because you guys are very familiar with Silver Shadow, uh, Triple Bypass, Surfing Dudes, we're all good friends with these guys, and they're all, they're all, they're all great bands, great people. Yeah, yeah, Josh Marsh and the Rats gave us, gave us a big help again, and, uh, and they're one of the best bands in the North, period, you know, so, uh, and it's, 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 yeah, it's been a, getting to know Josh a lot more, you know, messages back and forth and stuff, and, uh, and it's, yeah, it's, awesome to have that support. So, we're really glad to have you in Bistro, as you know, I've been trying to get a hold of you guys now. As soon as I hear Tragically Hip, it's, the lights go on and we got to get these guys. Yeah, we knew we, we knew we wanted to play here, it was just yeah. the timing of it all, with work schedules and stuff. Yeah, like that. that's, that's all cool. Well, we would like to have you again, for sure. Just glad to be here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a good environment, yeah, and you guys will have fun. So, that's pretty much it for music talk. I'd like to thank you guys for being here. It's a real big pleasure to have you here, really. And you'll see from the footage tonight, uh, these guys kicking butt. So, 
Thank you very much from City West and the Bistro. Good night. Cheers. Cheers. This was 38 years old.
All right, I want to dedicate this next song to uh, to those kids in Saskatchewan, the uh, the survivors, the uh, those that didn't make it, the coaching staff, their families. Um, this is like if, if there was a Canadian dictionary definition of a Canadian tragedy, this is it. You know, this is uh, kids playing hockey, doing what they love. And uh, you don't have to be a hockey player or even a hockey fan to uh, be affected by this, and uh, and it uh, gets us all. This is Wheat Kings. Thank you. 